hello you guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be trying out two different brow products from NYX Cosmetics. I am really excited because they're a little bit different for NYX and for me, like I don't usually use these types of products. So I'm really excited. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to follow me. It is Emily underscore Freibler. And let's get started with the video. So the first product is the NYX Cosmetics Three Dimensional Brow. This is a marker actually. So this is what the actual marker looks like it's just you know a marker basically and then it goes like this so there's a little um slanted top right here and um it's basically a marker so it says on the box for a game brows expertly define your arches using the slim angled felt tip fill them in with plush long lasting colors so it's supposed to look like more of a feathered brow effect. If you can see on this side right here, it's just a little bit more of a feathered effect, which might be hard with a marker type product because I'm scared I'm gonna make it too harsh. So I got mine in chocolate brown. Hopefully that's good for my hair color and everything like that. So that's the first one. The second one we're gonna use is the NYX Professional Makeup Precision Brow Pencil. And this is more of like a pencil like it says they do have the micro brow pencil which is definitely different than this one you can twist this up like this so basically it is flat and then it has a skinny side it's like fat almost like a rectangle so it's like fat here and then like skinny down the middle if that makes sense which would work if you're making like brow hair strokes so I think that might work well you also get a spoolie and on the end as well and I got mine in the shade um espresso or no not espresso espresso so I was just looking up the prices because I know you guys always want to know prices and how affordable this makeup really is the brow marker is $9.99 which I think is a really good price for a brow pencil and the precision brow pencil is also $9.99 so they're the same price so kind of pick and choose which one you want to try wait for a buy one get one half off if you want both and or if you want both use the 350 off 15 at Ulta because that's going to save you some money i'm really excited to try these two different pencils and i'm going to zoom you in and then we'll get started so what i'm hoping from this is that my brows don't look drastically different because i have to pick up my boyfriend in 45 minutes and i have class in like an hour and 15 so let's hope this goes okay so we're gonna start with the marker i'm really scared for this one but you know what we're just gonna have to go in and we're just gonna have to do it so i'm going to spoolie using the one um the pencil one because i i think that's the easiest way to do it i don't believe this no this one doesn't come with a spoolie which i don't like because spoolies are a must no matter what type of product you're putting in your brows you need a spoolie first to make sure they're all combed and nice this one i'm going to do the marker my right side your left and my left side your right is going to be the pencil all right moment of truth let's go in so basically it's skinny here so i'm just gonna go oh 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 do you see that that's pretty dark just make small strokes guys this might be a fail look at this oh i'm gonna use a spoolie from the other one and try and make it so it's not so um what do we say dark and harsh that's dangerous I'm trying to use very, very light strokes because once it touches your skin, it gets so dark and it's just like crazy. So I'm going to use light strokes, but if it does happen like that, you do have a little bit of time to blend it in. So that's good. Maybe I need like a lighter color with this because it is so dark and pigmented. So I would have a spoolie by you because it doesn't look bad once I spoolie through it, but the control over it is a little difficult because it is, like I said, so pigmented and I feel like I'm gonna be like drawing my brows on and they're not gonna look feathery like they do in the photo. So that looks good. If I kind of put it there and then comb it through, it doesn't look as harsh, but it kind of looks more natural. That's weird. So maybe that's the technique with this. You just kind of 
place it on their feathery strokes and then comb it through. Does that look too strong to you guys? I don't know. Actually, no, it looks okay in my mirror. We're gonna move on to the pencil now. So again, I'm just kind of spooling through these. And since this one is angled, we're just going to start doing little strokes. These are kind of shaped the same way, but they're totally different, obviously, consistencies. This one's more liquid and one more, more pencil. So I'm just doing little strokes. You see how this one's more obviously buildable because it's not like a liquid, it's a pencil. And it's not too creamy where it's like, I don't know, making my, or it's just going on too easily and too much pigment. It's pretty much the right consistency in my opinion. So far at least. I do think this is making more realistic brow hair strokes though which is good because obviously more feathery brows are starting to become in right now and that's what I like personally. Those are the brows. I think they look pretty good. This one does look a little bit more feathery. The color is like slightly, slightly different. This one is a little bit warmer than this one. This one's a little bit more ashy, which I kind of like the ashier one versus the warmer one. But I think they look okay. I am going to, you know, kind of clean up underneath my brows real quick and I will let you guys kind of see the finished result but and I will let you know kind of my final final thoughts if I think these are worth it or not so I'll be right back which will be like two seconds for you guys okay you guys so these are my final brows this side like I said was the three dimensional brow which is the marker and this one was the precision brow pencil I believe is what it was called yes and so I honestly think they look very, very, very similar. The, the shades are a little bit different because one was like chocolate and one was espresso, I think, but very similar. And I think the results are actually very similar as well. I think this one is a little bit more like feathery because I did spoolie through it. But if you don't spoolie through it, you are going to have a nightmare. I think if you were a beginner, I think you should try this one, which is the pencil because it's a lot less like fail proof, I guess, or it's a lot more fail proof. Like you could use this to be a beginner and I think you would do just fine. I think if you use this and you're a big beginner, you'd be like Sharpie brows, you know, cause it is that intense of pigment, which is great, but you have to spoolie through it, which sucks because you don't have a spoolie on it. So this one, I feel like I'm going to give a negative review because you would not get this result without the spoolie and you don't have a spoolie on this. So I'm kind of back and forth because I do like the result and I will I will still use it. But like I said, I don't rec recommend it for beginners. And if you want something super quick and easy, I think the pencil is going to be the way to go. I think it is great they have um, added more varieties to their brow line because I think the micro brow pencil has an amazing, amazing effect, but I think this one is a lot quicker. So like I would use this if I was going to class and I just want to run something through my brows and it's not a brow gel and I want like a little bit more shape to them. But I would only use this one probably if I was like going out or I wanted a specific result. So that's kind of what I think. I think you should definitely try one of them and give it a shot and see how you like it. I always like trying different products for my brows because sometimes I get stuck in a rut and I really like powders or sometimes I get stuck in a rut and I really like micro brow pencil type of deals. So I hope you guys liked my first impressions and kind of a trial and error of how to use the marker especially. And again, this is going to be super quick and easy for either one, I believe, because I've only been filming for 15 minutes now and I did my intro and I've been talking about the products as well. So I think they are pretty quick and easy. So if you want an easy way to do your brows, I would definitely try the brow pencil. So I hope I didn't repeat myself too much and you got the gist of, you know, how these products worked and everything like that. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and I will see you guys in a video very, very soon. Bye.